Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at Fight Camp, week one, fight four. New British champion, James Tennyson. How do you feel right now? Over the moon, absolutely buzzing, you know. Um, had a great fight there with Gavin Gwynn, you know. It's a shame that we couldn't have had a crowd in to back it up because, you know, it was a great scrap. How tough was Gwynn? He was uh, sticking in there as, as well as he could, James. Oh, he's a real tough lad, he really is. You know, he's given a good, great, great account of himself again and again, you know. Told him to stick in there, you know, his time will come. Talk to me about the finish, because uh, it was a relentless finish from yourself. Once I knew I had him hurt, you know, you could see whenever, whenever he went back and caught the referee, he says he, he okay to go on, and he didn't, really, he didn't really look too convincing. So, you know, I knew he was hurt, you know, I just said, put it on him here, it'll go. Eddie Hearn, in uh, your interview with Sky, mentioned some names, uh, quite notably, Jorge Linares, and I see your, kind of, your face light up when he mentioned Linares. Absolutely, you know, listen, they're, they're the sort of face I'm in boxing for, you know, they excite me, and... You know, that's the sort of plans that I want to hear. You know, I'm really looking forward to the future of my match with, with fights like Admirator. Did Gwyn fight as though uh, how you expected him to fight? Yeah, no, listen, he's got, he's, he's got a big heart, you know. He would always come out fighting like that no matter what. You know, whether he was hurt or not, he would come out on shield. And, you know, I expected that from him, yeah. Obviously, you spoke about uh, what it meant to you to, to win that British title. Now you've won it. How does it feel to, to be British champion? Absolutely amazing, you know. Listen, I've got a full deck. I've won every title on the way now, so... Just need to just need to secure a world title next time, you know, we're, we're, we're rocking. It seemed, obviously, watching it, it looked spectacular, but there is kind of a, the no crowd element is a little bit of a weird element to it. How did it feel being in the ring, being in a fight like that, but without the noise? It was different, it really, it was, it was different, but see, to be honest, hats off the match room, you know, they've really pulled off an amazing event for being with no crowd, you know, they've really, they pulled out all the steps and listen, it was good, I've enjoyed my experience, to be honest. What's the plans for you at the moment now then? Um, take it easy, go home, spend a bit of time with my son and eat a bit of junk. And then w when, when the time's right, I'm sure you'll be uh, on the phone to her or your, your manager will be on the phone to her and chasing up that Linares fight, surely? Absolutely, you know, listen, we'll have a wee break and we'll, we'll be ready to go again. Anything else you'd like to add before we finish, uh, James? Um, I'd like to give a shout out to the mechanics down Manahan who helped me out through sparring throughout my camp. Uh, I'd like to dedicate this win to... Mark Pantagas, Big Panther, and all the Pantagas family at home. James Tennyson, congratulations, new British champion, and uh, yeah, much deserved. Thank you. Cheers, Cook.